Okay, I'll fly away. So let me give you some pointers here. So first thing I'm doing, <coughs> chords are very simple. C, just to go over the song itself. It's C, 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 F, back to C. C, 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 G to C. And the chorus is basically the same thing. I'll fly away, oh Lord, the F, play the C. C, 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 da, 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 C, G, C. I'll list them down in my, uh, the com the, uh, description. Okay, so, here we go, section by section. So, I'm doing a three-note bass line. have to do it like this. You can't just hold your fingers. Because you're going to need your pinky to play this melody stuff up here. Okay? So this is sounds simple, but it's a little difficult. Okay. So while I'm doing that, I'm getting the following melody. Open E. And then second string. And then G string. And then back to the C, the second string. All that's while I'm playing that bass. And they're all what I call pinches. They're all played at the same time as a bass note. All right, and then the next part is. So what's that? The melody is open E, third fret B, open E, First fret, E, and then open E, and then back to the third fret on the B string. So that's how I finger it. I'm trying to get it so you can see with my stupid big fingers. And again, I'm keeping that bass going. Now, you get a real dissonance there. You've got an F note and an E note. If you want to avoid that, you can bring your thumb down to play the G string. This is a lot of detail here. Okay? But you don't have to, it goes by very quickly. slowly that section. E string, third fret B string, E string, first fret E string, and then open E, and that's the third fret B. Let me go to the F. Now, I'm playing a full F chord. I cheat, bring my thumb over, but you can certainly bar. Or you can just, if you can't do that, you can play just this three string F and play the A and the F, the A note and the F note, the D string. So that's basically, I'll do it with the full chord. You can see the chord doesn't move over here, so I'm going B string, first fret. It's kind of a basic finger pick. And it's pinch on the B string, pinch on the G string. And my thumb is doing the six and four for the full F or the A and the, four, the fifth and the fourth, here's what it would sound like. And then back to C. And I just killed Tanya, I'm just playing a basic finger pick with the three note bass. And then I repeat the first line. First 
fret, third fret, E, F, G. Now I'm on a G chord. My melody notes third fret of the B string. Again, and then back to C. Okay, so that's the whole verse section. Now we're going to walk into the chorus, which is very similar to the verse. So the end of the verse is... So what did I do there? I went... I pinched the fifth string and the second string. And I went to the low G note, the third fret on the low E. Open A, second fret A. And that gets me back to the C chord, and now the melody of the chorus starts on the high G note, third fret of the high E. So it's high, that's high, high G, open, back to the third fret, open, and then open again, third fret B, first fret B which is just a chord. Again, lots of the notes of this melody are just chord tones. They're notes in the chord. Okay, and so on. Here. It's all right hand. Uh, that's the B string. Then uh, uh, B string, then the, a, the G string. Uh, uh, way. Now there's a little trick here because it goes. part is E, open, first fret B string, second fret G string, open G. And I basically stop everything. I just go, I wait in the morning, oh, I fly away in the morning. And then I get back to Okay, so the chorus is essentially the same as the verse with those um, a higher melody. What was that little hammer on you say? I'm going. And again, I'm using just a sort of standard. Travis pick a lot of the time. All right, so I'll do the whole thing one more time for you slow. Um, it's simple, but I know there's a lot going on here. So here we go. 